Welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. Yesterday was day one of the Mobile World Congress. A huge tech convention centered around mobile devices, phones, tablets, phablets, and all the tech that goes into them. Now, while I'm sad that I'm not in Barcelona myself to enjoy all the new tech explosions that MWC has to offer, I can still share the highlights of what's going on there with you. Nokia announced three Android-powered smartphones, supposedly to try to get a piece of the under $100 pie. Up until now, we've seen a lot of Windows phones coming from the once long, long ago ruler of the mobile world, and topped with the fact that Nokia is only days away from selling its mobile sale business to Microsoft, one has to wonder how long these devices will last. How I put out a new smartphone, a phablet, a smart band, and more. The highlight of these being the Medipad X1 tablet, which offers a 13 megapixel rear cam and a huge 5,000 milliamp battery, and could potentially be a big competitor for the Nexus 7 and iPad mini when released. Sony unleashed the Xperia Z2, a 10.1 inch tablet that claims to be the world's slimmest, lightest, and only waterproof tablet. In addition to a super fast Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 processor and full HD triluminose display, that's Sony's way of saying really good. The tablet is compatible with your DualShock 3 wireless controller, so you can get that console gaming experience. And it also comes with Office Suite Pro 7, so you can get all your Microsoft Office needs done. Samsung announced a bunch of new wearable bands, the Gear 2, Gear 2 Neo, and Gear Fit, which unless they are priced much less than the first edition, it's gonna be hard to get excited about those. But what I can get on board with is the newly announced Galaxy S5! Rocking a 5.1 inch Full HD Super AMOLED display, faster Wi-Fi capabilities, and a slew of new onboard camera software, plus the ability to record 4K video. The S5 is a logical next step in the evolution of the Galaxy line. It's also really appealing to fitness buffs with S Health, nutrition tracking, and exercise logs, while it's giving added incentive to buy the gear and the fit products to really transform your phone into a fitness hub if you're into that. Now, there's way more going on at the 2014 Mobile World Congress than I have time to talk about here. So if you're jonesing for more tech coverage, feel free to head on over to sourcefed.com to read our blog or SourceFed Nerd for future tech and spec episodes. So what's your opinion on the smart band craze? Is it still hype or is it now becoming something that more people may actually want to buy? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. You can click this annotation to see everything we're doing across all of our other channels. My name is Trisha Hershberger, and I wonder if it takes 4K video you think people are going to be doing 4K U porn now? Maybe. If there's new tech, there will be porn of it.